Uh, voice over ook is really about your voice. So the way we start is Bruce gives a, a warm up or a tip about your voice. I'm at the stage where when I have to hold a hold on a, a word or a syllable like la, I notice when I play my recording back instead of la, it's like la. It's like whoa, why can't I stay on the same pitch, right? Your energy level may be affecting certain other factors like your sustain. Now, if you're sustaining with your diaph diaphragm, you're going to have a more la. You're going to have a more constant tone, even if it lasts for 10 seconds. That's fine, and and without it wavering. When one is tired, one tends to uh, not pay attention to certain factors. So Sheridan is a vocalist and. Um... It's great to have you here, Sheridan. Meet another vocalist. I, you know. We enjoy hearing you sing, as some of the other uh, participants have mentioned, Sheridan. Thank you. I, I, um, I've been working on, I still work on voice a lot. And I, I have a number of voice students and, and teach at some adult music camps. One in particular is called River Tunes. But anyway, I'm a believer that we're wind instruments and that. We are if you can learn to develop your breath and that you know, I, I, what I usually do to teach people is I want them to be able to sustain a 30 second hiss. And, and the way you do that is you resist the air coming out of your mouth. You, and the way oh, the other thing is, how do you get a good breath? Well, you get a good breath by getting rid of the one in front of it. So you, you exhale as much as you can. And then when you take that breath, your ribs will actually pop out down below. They should. And that's then if you push from the bottom and resist the air like that, you can feel the connection from top to bottom, which really is what generates the energy for sus And not only will you be able to sing longer notes, but in physics itself, fixed length tube in every human being the pitch will start to change on its own. You don't even need your vocal cords to, to, you don't have to move the vocal cords. All you have to do is find the place where the sound works, you know, in your head. And if you can make a, a small, tiny sound that's not breathy, like you can honk it, you know, and let really, you know, rattle a rafter. So, I mean, I'm a believer that, you know, you look at a little baby on its back, and diapers rattling the windows with no training. And you, know, you realize that they're just letting the sound happen. They're not trying to force it. They're, they're not doing anything with their vocal cords. They're just breathing and letting that sound happen. And uh, so I'm a believer that any sound you can generate, however ugly you think it is, is yours to own. <laughs> Wow, can we do that exercise you just mentioned? Am I right? You're supposed to let all your air out. Well, what you do is when First. you're is you exhale as much as you can. And just as an example, watch if if I blow all my air out and everybody does this, you think you have no more air left, but you can still say hello. How are you? How do you do? There's more in there than you think. So the idea is to learn how to really push it all out. And when you relax, your belly just goes out by itself and fills the bottom part of the lungs, which is the really the biggest part. So that's really the secret is not only good, relatively good posture. I think playing in a small instrument, we tend to hunker around it with our shoulders, but really your shoulders should be back and you should sit upright and, and uh, it isn't about looking slim. It's about pushing that air all the way out with your belly and then letting it flop out. It just pulls it in like a vacuum. Well, my goal is to get to the point where after I sing a song, instead of, that was great, I want them to say, oh, can you do it again? That was so <laughs> short. I want to hear you play again. And then after I do that, they go, encore, one more time. That's my goal. Because right now it's like, oh, that's great, next. Yeah. Well, here's, here's, here's a visualization about breathing is, is that most of us think that we take, the, um, take our breath at the end of the phrase, 
wrong. You take it in front of the phrase and you sing all the way to the end of the phrase. If you leave a phrase with energy, the next breath will fall in. So if you do something like, the corn is as high as an elephant's eye, and it looks like it's climbing clear up to the sky, the next breath is gonna come in by itself. So, but if you, if you think, oh my God, I need a breath, and you go after that breath, your pitch will go right with it. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, what you have to do, you sail the end of your, your phrases with your breath, and the next breath will just jump right in. Bruce, you knew that, but you didn't tell me. Well, you know, <laughs> breathing is, it, we all breathe every day. And so you get pretty used to it. Um, I, I really recommend breathing every day. I, 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 you know, don't skip a day. At least I haven't so far. Thank you, Sheridan. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, Bruce, as well. That, Thank you. Th this is the kind of, you know, things we learn. We talk about, we practice in voice over ook. So if you want to get better at singing, and I think it's one of those things everybody could get better at. This is the class. This is on Wednesdays at 1.30. And it's, it's unless a gift we get to, give to each other, <laughs> yeah, Ginny, I take it so that you don't have to suffer through my voice. So I'm hoping <laughs> uh, to get a few more and, and improve. Once you know how to breathe, you don't have to think about it anymore, and it becomes so automatic. You know, breathing uh, with the proper part of your of your body from from people say breathing from your stomach. Of course, it's always your lungs that are pushing out the organs below. So, but anyway, diaphragmatic breathing, it just becomes so automatic that you don't need to think about it anymore. And, you know, these are things that everybody who, who sings uh, knows, and it just needs to be more apparent to you, and then it'll become automatic. That's the goal.